I meet lots of people at food fairs all over the country. And one of my favorites is Helen G. She's been making jam at Abbey Farm near Abbey Leaks for 30 years. And it's made in small batches, which gives it its homemade flavor and texture. We have a whole lot of saucepans. Years ago, we had 36 saucepans, not that long ago, but we're still cooking saucepans every single day of every week. In small batches, is that small the Small batches, yes. We have two other cookers. We have a cooking kettle, which we concentrate on uh, relishes and chutneys. And then we have a bigger kettle for bigger amounts, like the strawberry and the marmalades, and they go on the automated line. And how many different ranges do you make now? We make about 40, I suppose, because we have the different marmalades, different jams, and the chutneys and relishes and cucumber pickle, which we brought on last year. And your branding is beautiful, you know, the G's, and then you have the, the Abbey Farm. The G was the original, so the G was G W E, my name. And then we dropped the E's, because the E's were all over the paper. You know, E's were bad for you. Of course. So we dropped the E's, so it's G, no E's, and G's jams. There you are now, Nevin. I like it. We're starting off with a saucepan, yep. and we're going to put on the margarine, and this helps it from sticking. And why not butter? Butter burn. Does it? Yeah, it would. It would burn. So this is just lightly put on, and you won't see it or feel it or anything okay. in the jam. So now you're going to help me put in the okay. raspberries, aren't okay. you? Okay. So these are the raspberries. Yep. Here. So you just chuck them all in? Yeah, I chuck them all in. <laughs> okay. you want a spoon to go with it? Yeah, have it here. Uh, Good them one. So lovely raspberries. And your favourite jam is which? Black green apple. Ah, but I love raspberries as well. I, I love it's the tanginess of the tartness of it. It's lovely with scones and lovely in brown bread. And you may hand me back that now and I'm going to stir. <laughs> this is where you go slowly because you need to release the pectin. What does pectin do now in fruit? It basically sets it. It, it is the setting point and the sugar then is the preserving point. And I notice with your jams, they're not very well set. They're still a nice soft consistency. Yes, I call them soft set. Soft set. Soft set okay. jam. And we've been known for our soft set jam for years. Because I don't like glue in a pot. And when you take it out and put it on your scone, it's just nice. Goes over your brown bread or your scone. So I'm stirring here now. Oh. It could stick still, yes. even though I put the margarine on. Where would you sell your jams to? We sell in the USA, Luxembourg and Europe. France and Germany, and of course Ireland. So now, Nevin, you have another job. Okay. Gonna add in the sugar for me. Good woman. <laughs> it's just caster sugar, is it? No, it's ordinary, ordinary oh, granulated okay. sugar. Yep. So just sprinkle it all in? Yeah, just put it okay. all in all together. Here we go. Thank you very much indeed. No problem. Lovely. And so I'll stir this now until all the sugar is all. Uh, Helen, where are the raspberries from? The raspberries are actually from Mount Rat, from yeah. Fales of Trumra. I was over there with them yesterday, so I got the raspberries. They grow quite a lot of fruit. For this recipe, is it equal quantities of fruit and sugar? The very same. Very same. So we have two kgs of uh, fruit in there, and we have two kgs of sugar. So Helen, being involved in the community, you're very important here, aren't they? All community projects we support. We had a new school up here in Knock, a whole new extension. So we support the two local GAs and then we do tennis. We have a tennis club. We're into the same community. So the sustainability and the community aspect are very important with Argent Green, aren't they? Oh, they're very important. Helen, I remember when my mother used to make jam, she used to put a little bit on a plate and wait for it to set and then run her finger. Is, is that still done or you're probably the expert? We actually still do that every day of the week here. Believe it or not, we do it. I don't do it. But all the rest of them do. Even though it's all thermometered and, and checked by yeah. temperature, it is the best way to test it. That's I lift brilliant. it up like this and I'm waiting for yeah. it to gel together, come down in just one, that these three little knobs will come together. Okay, Nevin, ready now. I'll get the jug. So basically, we tilt the jar like this mm -hmm. and pour it like that. Otherwise, you'd have bubbles in it. So we lid it like this. So we tip it over. Takes all the air out of it. Never seen that before, that's cool. So when this is hot then, Nevin, that tamper-proof thing in the middle... That this is, here? Yeah. That will be drawn down when it cools down. It'll be, it's hot now. That's well, and we're filling the big jars, but I know you've loads of small little jars. Tell me a little bit about that. Is that for food service or what's that the for? The food service, yes. And the food service has been actually very good to us. Mm -hmm. We supply uh, an awful lot of the five-star hotels and we supply um, Aer Lingus. So if you're going on your, for, on, on your business flight now, business. yeah, you, you will be eating it, but I probably won't. I'll never get to fly business. You'd probably get on free. Yeah, I say, doubt, I, I, the jam. I, I doubt it, I doubt it. <laughs> That's a great success story, isn't it? So screw on, screw turn on, it over. Turn it over. That's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So that prevents mould. And you know when you open jam, should you store it in the fridge when you open it? When you open it, it yeah. is better. Okay, Look finished. at the colour. Beautiful, fantastic, absolutely okay. wonderful. So now we have 
One for everyone in the audience. <laughs> Aren't they all lucky? Aren't they all You're going to make everyone happy. Ah. Perfect. Helen, it's so nice to meet you. I, I wish you continued lo success. Love it to, to show you how to make jam. Ah. The Board Bia Quality Mark, ensuring your food is produced to the highest standards.